Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. We are back to playing The Simpsons, as is our wonderful tradition. I am so glad to be back playing this. Um, it has been a minute since I recorded. I'm going to turn this down just a little so I can hear myself. Um, <laughs> um, so episode one just came out from, just to give you an idea of my recording schedule because I record like an entire month's worth of videos and then haven't done anything since then so I am kind of just jumping back into this uh, it's been a very busy month uh, Easter just happened so that was fun I didn't do anything I had to stay stay in because I had to sleep because of work and whatnot so didn't get to do much for that uh, good old Cletus Gotta get the flat beat. Good times. Um, yeah, but no lots of lots of random stuff been going on, uh, like family emergency kind of stuff, and uh, I don't know, just all all sorts of nonsense. Unfortunately, uh, all the regular things that get in the way of someone who wants to do a show for fun and then realizes that uh, real life takes a lot more out of you than it should. <laughs> um, that sounds that sounds so negative, but it really I mean, it's just more there's just a lot of just a lot of things going on. Sorry, Lenny. Um But uh yeah, I don't know. Just been enjoying uh playing other stuff. I've been the the thing I've been upset with it partially is that like my go to for like relaxation is playing video games and I'm kind of uh burned out on everything I've got on my Switch, so I've been really wanting to play more games on my computer, such as this, um, and I just haven't had the time to, because uh, on my Switch, I've been all <sighs> focused on uh, on the getting, what's it called, oh, no, oh, no, oh, we gotta go back, um, on finishing up uh, the Binding of Isaac for the second time on my Switch, so now I have two entire profiles finished with 100% uh, completion for the Binding of Isaac because I'm a crazy person. Uh, there's no better explanation than that. I am insane and uh, I just love to play a game that just wants to punish me because that's just my sense of enjoyment, I suppose. <laughs> but since I've completed that, now I'm just... Um, my, my third save file only has like the hardest stuff to finish as well, so I'm kind of just like, eh, I don't want to do that right now. And Stardew Valley... Um, I'm pretty sure I've talked about already how Stardew Valley just updated to have um, a bunch of new content as well, but unfortunately I can't finish it because until they uh, put out like a patch for it. Oh, oh no, Apu. <laughs> we gotta get away from Apu because he says that we, he only he can sell bad food. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm sure he has good food, you know. Every, everyone likes your, your standard convenience store gas station food. It's high quality food. <laughs> nothing nothing like roller dogs from the from the heat lamps. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. We got our second part. Uh yeah, so just been kinda not been able to play really much Stardew Valley because we're just kind of waiting for that to be updated, and then uh, Binding of Isaac just updated, but I think it's only on the PC, so I'm pretty sure I will do a video on that at some point. Though I do have to buy a new, uh, buy a new, buy buy the game because it uh, actually requires an investment, which I'm fine with because dude's been making huge, huge stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for a car. I want to do a race. Ah, this one. I like this one. This is one of the few that I genuinely enjoy using um, in terms of, uh, like, car, sorry, uh, cars that are on the street. We'll see how fast I can go because I got to catch up with Lisa's Speedmobile. Um, but, yeah. Also, I'm at a new desk, so if I'm bumping into things, it's because I'm not used to the, uh, the size of this at this point because uh, right now it's... Uh, it's it's a little smaller than my previous desk. My previous desk was like almost almost too big uh, to some extent, um, but that was okay. Um, 
Oh, I'm not losing. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> um, so I may bump into it. So if you hear the, that sound, that's just what it is. Can't do much about it. I just have to get used to it. There we go. This is actually working pretty well. I'm glad I picked this car. This probably doesn't hold up very much if I'm crashing into stuff, but at least it's got the speed I need. It's like stealing a, stealing a Ferrari. Oh, and I, I guess I should say that that's my other new thing that's happened recently is I bought a new car. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, it is a used car, but it's new to me, and that's all I care about. So, you know, you do what, do what you got to do. Buy what's in your uh, your own uh, price range. Oh God, no! Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. Lisa, you cannot. You cannot. This is the last lap. Yes. <laughs> Success. Um, yeah. So that's a that's exciting. I got an SUV, which is uh, great because it's big. Because um, <laughs> I have as uh, before that my car. It's is just a regular car, but it was a very big car. Ooh, I, I wanna fling the cat. Because why not? Because that's a thing. Um, but I just needed, I needed something new, and uh, size-wise, SUV just fits me. So there we go. That's what I did. Deal with it. Kill this bug. Nope, die. Ow. I am standing on it and I can't kick it. There we go. <laughs> That's how you solve a problem. Just kick it. I really need a wrench. There we go. Get one of those. I think there's another race around here somewhere. Makes sense that there's a wrench over by the, the hospital. Heal your car. <clears throat> um, what else? Is, what else has been happening? Everything's been happening. Getting used to the new car. Getting used to this new desk. It's like I got all these these nice new things. I haven't gotten nice new things in a long time. <laughs> I'm not used to nice new things. I'm used to current things because I can't pay for new things. I'm not broke. I just don't like to spend money. That's like. Not a necessity, you know. <clears throat> I can deal with it. I have no need to make myself a, a Patreon page or anything. Still, I think that would be awesome, but I just don't. I I see no, I have no intention of doing that at this point. Uh, though we have gotten some new subscribers lately, which has been really cool. Um, it's really, really neat to see people actually like subscribe. <laughs> well, this is in <laughs> this is a good race. Good racing skills. There we go. This is a, just a single path race. Uh, there's Millhouse. I have to go back to him. To finish up with the races. Um, yeah, but uh, getting used to a new car is weird. Because uh, when you... My car before was a 2007. So a uh, huge change of getting a uh, car that was made in this last decade. <laughs> so that's been a... That was a weird adjustment, like shopping for a car. I'm looking at all the features and stuff, and I'm like, this feels like, fu like futuristic almost. Like, and I know that they're mostly features that most cars have these days, but it just was like so different from what I currently have. Uh, but it's been a nice improvement. Uh, it's nice driving a car now that doesn't feel like uh, like the the muffler's gonna fall off any minute, because unfortunately my car. My previous car was, I mean, functional, uh, but not great. Um, <laughs> just in general, didn't, uh, couldn't take bumps very well. And la the last week or so, I kept like having times where I'd turn, and like over a over a hill or like a, a curbside or something like that. And as I turned it, I felt like the the um, <laughs> the steering was like buckling under me i was like this is this is not good this is not gonna last so thank goodness for new cars um but uh yeah it's just been it's been busy and uh i don't know 
Work's been crazy, as always. Not as bad as it's been lately, though. Or it's more of just uh, just occasional busyness. We're not dealing with absolute madness. Although maybe in the last two weeks, since since last I, I was recording, I probably it probably was crazier back then. So right now, manageable. <laughs> Still busy, but manageable. So I'll take that. Oh, we got a secret. Dude, dude, don't don't be don't be doing that. That's that's uncool, man. I can't believe I didn't run into that guy. I like that you can touch these and they'll still like heal like heal your car, fix your car. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I just found out that apparently there is a credit card specifically designed for fixing uh, for car repair stuff. Which, uh, and it's made by the same people who do care credit, which is a credit card made specifically for, like, medical care stuff. Um, because it gives you more time to pay it off, uh, with less interest, which is nice. Um, because when you've got, uh, lots of medical expenses and stuff, care credit is, uh, a big win, I will say. Uh, not to, not a, uh, paid endorsement, of course, because no one's gonna pay me for this, but, uh, but I would endorse, uh, that credit card. <laughs> so care credit, if you ever do need any sort of um, uh, quote unquote celebrity endorsement, um, you know, you can you can check me out because, uh, you know, I'm popular on the internet. I've got over 70 subscribers and I'm, I'm the first, I'm the guy who made the first uh, themes or yeah, intro like theme song for the Rooster Teeth podcast. So there. <laughs> uh that is still like probably my most interesting thing I've done on the internet is make a the the the, the first podcast theme song for the Rooster Teeth podcast and it was awful um, and probably the only reason it got selected was because I know like later on they were like we are we're, they were like overflowing with people submitting stuff um, and mine was one of the first submitted because literally the the day the podcast came out. Um, and they said we need we need music i immediately made a song that night spent like the entire night making it uh i am gonna buy the limo because that could be actually be useful um so that was that was the only reason and the only thing that wasn't um done that night was the the lyrics because it was the middle of the night and i didn't want to wake my uh <laughs> my roommate um did i what did i just unlock was it the was it the sedan? Really? I think it was the sedan. Okay, well that's fine. Sedans are good. I did like my sedan, but it's time to move forward. All right, where am I going now? This way, okay. More silliness. I right, back to the stadium. This is solid. Not, not the worst. Handling's a little rough, but uh, certainly better than the, that slidey sports car that I had before, so. Yeah, I even... <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a good fit for that. Um, speaking of good fits for things, um, I should probably listen to him. Uh, the Screaming Monkey Medical Research Center. Gosh. No, poor, poor monkeys. Um, so I was like, you know what? Tonight, I think I need to relax, and, uh, I decided to, uh, grab myself a beer. Um, now we have a place near us that I love, and, uh, I would love to, for them to endorse me, uh, it, legitimate, if I could get a sponsorship from anything, even if it was just, like, a shout-out kind of thing, uh, Jungle Gyms here in Cincinnati, fantastic. Um, literally, it's like a grocery store, but what, like, almost like an entertainment value. And they have, uh, a significant alcohol, um, uh, uh, selection. And they'll always have stuff on sale for super cheap. And one of the things they had was a local beer from a uh, urban artifact, uh, which is a local brewery. And they had a Christmas pickle beer. Uh, I think I already bought Mr. Plow, so I just need a phone. There we go. Um, and yeah, it's called Xmas Pickle. It is a pickle flavored goes. Uh, goes are, um, I think I said. I think I'm saying that right, but they're um, uh, basically like uh, they're close to a sour beer. So 
Oh, right. This is the Plow King. I need Mr. Plow. Great. Have I bought that from Homer? I think I did. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna keep driving. Watch out, Mole Man. Um, so I'm gonna try that. Uh, I just cracked it open before we started. And uh, so you'll get to experience my my first reaction to drinking a pickle beer. And the only reason I bought it was because I said it they, they had brought it down to $3 for a six pack. And I said, if they bring it down to $2, I will buy it. Guess what? They brought it down to $2. So before before we start this mission, I'm going to give this a taste test. So pic pickle beer. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh no. <laughs> that is That is that is that is something. Oh. And I don't think it's something good. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Um all right, what am I doing? Picking up monkeys. Right, right. I need something big to collect all the monkeys and to jump up. There we go. Um, well, that was um, horrifying. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Seriously? Get back in your car. I've only gotten three out of 30, and I spent 30 seconds doing it. Um, but yeah, pickle beer. Um, <laughs> it's not as good as you'd think it would be, and you probably didn't think it was that good to begin with. So... Uh, that's fairly accurate. Uh, it is just so okay. So I have tried. Uh, I also have uh, because it was discounted a uh, cucumber uh, seltzer, um, and that was. And I'm not a big fan of cucumbers. I like pickles. Not a big fan of cucumbers though. Um, and the only reason I got it was because it was a dollar for a 12 pack of assorted flavors. Uh, all flavors that I mostly didn't like, but again, one dollar for a 12 pack. I'm like, if anything, if I'm throwing a, a party or something, I can offer people, would you like a seltzer? Because I'm not gonna drink it. Um, but I did drink like most of them. Um, like half of them were decent. Uh, again, anyway, uh, anyway, again, that was because it was discounted. So that's kind of how I do my alcohol in general is whatever is cheapest. <laughs> Probably not the best. Uh, the, the best method for picking quality items, but, uh, you know, it could be worse. Um, but, um, oh gosh, what else? Uh, but yeah, this tasted basically just like that, but instead of being a seltzer where it's just kind of a subtle taste, uh, it was a sour, so it's just, it didn't taste like a pickle, it tasted like a sour cucumber. Um, and that is not the flavor I expected, nor is it the flavor that I wanted. <laughs> so, uh, Urban Artifact, um, I appreciate the beers that you make. Um, I can also see why this beer did not sell as well as you probably wanted it to, because, whew, that's a strong flavor. Oof, no, no thank you, never again. I'll, I will pass. <laughs> I wish I liked it. I was really hoping I would be surprised and be like, wow, that's that's really good. That's surprising. The pickle isn't too overwhelming. And you know what? The pickle wasn't overwhelming. It was cucumber that was overwhelming. And that just made it unappealing to me. <laughs> but whatever. Last monkey. Oh, gosh. I keep hitting uh, the, the right uh, shoulder button thinking that that's reverse. And it is not. So I keep, like, speeding up when I'm trying to slow down. Uh, break that box real quick because I must I collected all the monkeys but I will free those ones I've cl claimed your brethren you may be free <laughs> hi dr. Nick Welcome home, Daddy's little angel. Ugh. Now, all right well and the worst part is I can't waste alcohol that mentality is just not in me so I'm gonna have a little more Wow. That is such a flavor. 
such a flavor. I can't even describe that. Oof. Mm. <laughs> no. Yep. Yeah, we're we're gonna be wasting a, a beer. Oh, I need some lemonade. Lemonade to wash that down. Oh gosh. Show me the truckosaurus. Here's a word I would love to be able to say. Unfortunately, there are too many people using oh. cell phones, and the interference would oh, cause the monster to malfunction and kill many oh, people. Oh, thank you. And my oh man, no more. The premium from the no more, no more of that. I show you a picture of this right now. There we go. Uh, don't get that beer. <laughs> Buy other urban artifact beers, please, because they do make good beer. Just not that one. Oh my God, not that one. No. Like I, I, I really wanted to be surprised, but no, that's that is not that is not a winner. Destroy all the. Oh, I should I should have stayed in my truck. Oh boy. Cell phone user, don't be using your cell phone in the car. Come on now. Ram into something. Why is he so good at not being smashed? Stop being so good at avoiding my capture. Breaking my own car more than I'm breaking his. Oops. Ugh. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Not doing great here. Oh, I'm distracted by pickliness. There we go. Whoa, Lovely. Oh, great. Where's the next guy? Yeah. I really need a wrench. You should be. Oh gosh, my uh, my wanted level is going up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, would have been perfect. I want to give him head on. <laughs> Get back here. Right into the wall. Come on. Right into the wall. Get back here. Bart is not finished with you. Come on now. Don't go on the highway. Double hit. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> push him, push him. Well, that helped a little. Gonna destroy my car, trying to destroy his car. This is too cool for school. How? All right, I need to re refuel. Kind of. And I did that thing again. Hit the wrong button. Ugh. I'm glad to be playing this. I do wish they would put this on the Switch. I do love every time they port one of my old favorite games to the Switch. It's just such a nice treat. Oh, oh wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, there you are. Hi there. You should be destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, come on. That should have easily smashed you. Because I didn't hit him. There we go. One more. Goodness. You cell phone users, you're just everywhere, aren't you? This is ridiculous. This this almost makes it seem like cell phone users are frequent in this day and age. Which, obviously, today they are. I because when did this game come out? Is this like two thousand like two thousand three or four? Something like that? I don't know. It came out a long time ago. <laughs> Back when cell phones were 
almost not a, the norm. At least not the level they are now. Like, I'm pretty sure I had a cell phone, but it was pretty much as a in case of emergency only. Unlike how kids now, it's pretty much you, you need a cell phone for everything because that's just how they work. Oh my gosh, get back here. Why is he so fast? Stop being so fast. He's faster than the others. There we go. Get that dark smoke. There we go. I win. Huzzah. Great success. <laughs> uh, why is that funny? It's not. It's just quoting Borat. It's not funny at all. I'm just going to get that because I want to. There we go. Just get pick this up. Thank you very much. There. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that. Well, now my <laughs> all of my all of my thought process has been thrown off because of that dang pickle beer. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. All right, Frank. Can you get me what I want now? Well done, Mom. May I see the show? <laughs> Smash. Now there is no chance my truckosaurus will go on a killing rampage with oh. the screaming and the sadness and the hosing of blood off the road. <laughs> Huzzah! Is that the end of this level? I think it is. Yeah, I think so. Because now we get the nice little cutscene. Wow, truckosaurus is some with kind creepy of truck 3D bark. Dinosaur. I never would have guessed. It is funny though. Like the 3D animation looks exactly like. Makes me think of the. Um, uh -oh. I think it was a Treehouse of Horrors episode where Homer was put, uh, was rendered in 3D. I'm pretty sure these these cutscenes are made from the same program, almost guaranteed. It's like the same like weird where you're like, it is clearly the symptoms, but also like just yes, I don't know. They they look rounder and more cartoony somehow, which is weird for them being cartoons. Oh dear. I've been alien napped. Kidnapped. Kidnapped by aliens. I've been abducted. That's the word. That's the right word for it. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Definitely didn't finish as much as the last level, but that's okay. Uh, yes. Let us continue. Save in this GameCube slot in our GameCube save card. <laughs> Thank God that that's something that faded away eventually. Ah, classic. Um, I think I will probably do maybe the first mission on this one, and then uh, and then we'll save up for next time. Cause I'm trying to stick to that like thirty minute mark, just to, so I'm not overwhelming things. Hello, Mr. Comic Book Guy. This looks like a rare card. I would like to destroy it. It is a ticket to the unreleased Itchy and Scratchy episode. Ah, yes. I would only trade that for a complete set of collector cards. Please to note. I said complete. I'm not going through that crap again. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So that's uh, that's the thing that we do for collecting all those uh, all the the trading cards that we have in each level. So let's see. Do I need anything from this one? Cool, Lisa and Florida, Lisa. I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be Florida, Lisa. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Cause it's funny. Hello. Stupid brother. Have you seen him? Yes, yes. Can't talk now. I must get the last copy of the new Itchy and Scratchy Adventures comic. Of course. Controversial issue in which now, finally you're the comic book guy. You have a comic book store. Why isn't... Why don't you have the comic here? Ah. The Itchy and Scratchy store. Ah. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. Why am... Oh. We're in comic book guy's car. Of course. I think that nerd's car is actually a really good one. So, that, that'll be one to get later. Shortcuts, shortcuts. Everybody loves shortcuts. You suck. You suck. <laughs> nope, we got this. We got this. Watch out for logs. Logs. Uh, well, I mean, we don't got this. <laughs> Why would you turn us around? Oh my gosh. Wow. I might lose this one. There's a good chance I will lose this one. Good thing there's probably a wrench here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh gosh, I just barely made it. There it is. Get 
itchy and scratchy comic. This is like the the worst level when it comes to like the uh, the uh, um what's it called like running into stuff for like the the police meter because they're when you get down to the boardwalk it's just trash cans and people everywhere and your uh, meter just goes up like continuously it's uh, ridiculous oh gosh no I was really hoping I could pass it this time boy this uh, comic book guy's car has the worst acceleration. Not a, not a preferred car, in case you needed to know. Uh, don't buy an old green, what is this called, a Kremlin? Yeah, don't uh, don't drive one of those uh, if you're looking for high acceleration, which I'm sure if you're driving one of these, you are not. That is not in the books for you. Great success. Hmm. Gonna have to check how my sound is, because my microphone definitely moves a lot more on this desk since it's not the giant sturdy steel desk that I'm used to. But that's okay. Can't be that bad. <laughs> Itchy and scratchy corn cob holders. Perfect. Okay, great. Well, um, that seems like a good place to 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 stop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save things up here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, another example of uh, just wonderful gameplay of The Simpsons, and uh, and you guys can come back for more next week. And uh, we'll have some indie games and stuff up. I don't know what I'm playing this week for in the indie game, but uh, we shall see. So. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.